Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Redneck Garage. Well, Redneck Campground Paradise, where me and Ronnie camp, and we work on junk. I mean, our golf cart. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to modify a clutch. This is a cheap $30 clutch that we bought for the golf cart. And uh, there's a couple problems with it. It engages too early, too low of RPM. We're gonna bump that RPM up between two and 400 RPM. And I'll tell you exactly how to do this. Now my range is about 250 RPM-ish. I think that'll do, but if not, we'll take it back apart and see if it does anything else. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do a free modification to this clutch, make it kick in at a higher RPM, giving you more horsepower and torque whenever this kicks in because our problem now is it kicks in too low and the golf cart wants to everywhere all over the place so without further ado let's get to this free modification thanks for watching you're gonna need a set of ring clip pliers and right on the top of your clutch there's a, gonna be a ring now if we can get her in there you want to spread that ring apart, set her there on the table, okay? And this will slide off real nice and easy. Now, there's going to be a brass bushing in here. We are going to want to lube that and inspect it. Now, this is a pretty much a new clutch. Shouldn't be too much wrong with it. But get yourself some PB blaster, just about anything. And uh, just lube that up set her down on the table and then as for your clutch ladies and gentlemen this is going to be the easy part right down inside here there's going to be another clip ring we're going to want to pop that clip ring off as well i might have to change my tips but i don't know maybe not when you get your pliers set up right, down on that clip there. Oh, shit. We better find that clip. Now, after uh, your clip goes flying everywhere, it, you'll find it, I'm sure. If you don't, buy another clutch. You're going to want to take this plate off here. And then this is what we're after. These clutches okay is what we're after we're gonna want to pull one out like so pull them out don't get them mixed up because they got to go back with each other that spring goes like so now these are your little clutch plates and they're breaking in actually fairly nicely from what i can see they're breaking in real nice Oh yeah, they're wearing in real nice. So, <clears throat> you wanna put them on your plate like so. And then what you're gonna wanna do is pull two off. Okay, we're just gonna pull two off and we're gonna cut these in half. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then we'll show you the next step. So we're gonna cut this directly in half. Okay guys, now we cut them in half. Now I'm gonna tell you this, you're supposed to do this with a bandsaw. My local tree store didn't have a bandsaw, but it had a grinder, so that's what we used. But you are supposed to use a bandsaw. It's a cleaner cut. You have more control, straighter cut. But however you cut these, it doesn't matter. It's a $30 clutch. It's not a space shuttle. We ain't going to the dang moon. You want to clean off all the burrs. I know it's dark, and I'm sorry. But hopefully you can see some of this. Can you see all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to clean off all your burrs. And then on your edges that touch the clutch, 
you want to put a slight chamfer on. That's real easy to do. You can do it with a file. Me, I'm not going to tell you how I did it. Yeah, I will. I did it with a grinder. <laughs> but then you want to put them back, your two pieces, back in the clutch where you got them from. We've got our other two pieces. So you're only cutting two of these shoes. Okay. Now that we got them in there, that's what our clutch looks like now. Remember, guys, this is a $30 clutch. Um, if you screw it up, it's just 30 bucks. Now, our problem here, and this is actually where your RPM raise comes from, is in your spring. We have to get our spring apart. Which can be a pretty challenging, but not too hard. So now, we're going to take and we're going to cut two rings off of our clutch using a pair of wire cutters. See these two rings right here? We're going to go ahead and cut two rings. Give us some hell. Okay, we cut our two rings off of there. That's going to raise us about 200, 250 RPM, or it should. Now, you can get stiffer springs, stronger springs, blah, blah, blah. If you cut too much, you can stretch this string, spring out. It will work, but I don't recommend it. So now that we did that, we're going to go one ring down, and we're going to do that to raise it up, just like so. I'm gonna raise it up just like so. And we're gonna put it back together, which is pain in the butt, but it will go. So. Do people only go camping to party? Sounds like it. Jesus, I come here to get away from that shit. Do I gotta find another campground to go to? Well, we normally don't hear it because we've got the whole assist going. That's true, we don't have the whole assist. Okay, now that we got that done, that was real simple to do. So we're gonna put it the spring back down in here. It's gonna take some work and but she'll go, she'll go down in. She's down in now. She's gonna wanna fight you and come out. And... You'll get her. Keep her down in there. That top. That top on. Like so. Just like so. She'll go. She's on. Now. Put our snap ring down in there. Get our pliers. Put her down in there. Once you get it down in there so far, just take it. Snap her down in. Make sure she clicks. If she clicks, you're good. All right. She's down in, just like so. That's just the way it is it's going to be. All right, guys. Now that we got that spring installed, we're going to just wipe out this drum real quick. Um, I don't use 
any cleaners really. You can use brake cleaner, just make sure it dries. But I just want to get the dust out of it. And then we're going to get our little shim. It's going to go, it's going to go down on there. Then we're going to put that down there. Look how smooth that is. Very smooth. We're going to get our lock ring, our C-clip. We're going to put her down on there. She's down in. She's good to go. Now, as much smoother than what it was before, as not even noisy, it was real noisy before. That's much better. We got that brass ring. We got some silicone. Now, this not really a long-term fix, but these are kind of high maintenance clutches. You have to take them apart pretty much every few rides, which is easy to do. And just soak that brass ring in some lubricant, which you could use just about just about anything really be honest with you that's just straight up honesty so we're gonna get this installed we're gonna take it for a drive we're gonna go find out what that party is up on the hill we'll see you in a bit all right i got the clutch put on we're gonna see how she does she's running battery was dead we have to figure out that let's see how she drives all right, guys, so let's see how it does. Wow, no jerkiness at all. Nothing. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yes. Now that we're out here on the trail, well, now that we're out here in the open, she's much smoother, less clutch noise, but now we have a lot of roof rattle. Which we, we know what that is, it's them long bolts. You can't tighten them all the way. Yeah. We have to fix that. That's the only rattle we got, the clutch is quiet. Daddy long leg all over us. But yeah, this thing is much smoother now. It takes off a lot better. We'll catch up with you here in a little bit. This is music mode with the engine running. This thing looks beast. <laughs> 